Hi everybody, I'm Bill Whittle and this is The Firewall. Well now, Bernie Sanders has bewitched a new generation of voting students by promising them things like free health care and free college. So I'd like to address this brief video to you young people who are Bernie supporters and are in it for the free college. Can we just think this through for a minute, please? Just, just for one minute. Let's say Bernie Sanders gets elected and the Democrats run the table and now we have a socialist president and Congress and sure enough, Bernie Sanders passes a bill that says that every American now gets free college. What, what does that mean? Does it mean that the professors and coaches and administrators are going to come to work and not charge anybody? Is that what it means? Does it mean universities don't have to pay telephone or internet or water charges at all anymore and all the rest of that stuff? Is that what it means? Does it mean that when the air conditioner comes on in a lecture hall, the school's not going to be charged for it by the electric company? Is that what free college means? Because if it doesn't mean that, then free college is a non sequitur, which is a conclusion or statement that does not logically follow from the previous argument or statement. Non sequitur literally means it doesn't follow. So, free college doesn't mean what it says it means because college, like healthcare and houses and Xboxes and Ferraris, costs actual money. So it has to be paid for by somebody and you like it because it's not going to be paid for by you. Yet. But. If you get your free college and the result of all of this is that Bernie adds another $17 trillion to the already outstanding $20 trillion debt, almost doubling it from Obama, who almost doubled it from the previous 43 presidents going back 239 years to the signing of the Constitution. If Bernie doubles the debt to, let's say, $37,000 billion, then who do you think is going to be paying high taxes for the rest of their lives in order to pay off that debt? It's going to be you. You're going to be paying about half of what you make or more for the rest of your entire lives in order to pay for that free college. If you've taken out a private loan, as in the old days, you probably could work it off in five years. And the cost of that free college is going to increase. Why? Well, because when setting tuition costs, universities know that there's no price that the federal government cannot pay. You look at the cost of tuition relative to inflation and cost of living adjustments, and you will see that tuition has skyrocketed. Why? Well, because we subsidize it with government guaranteed student loans. That's why, and whatever you subsidize, you get more of. And finally, it means that you're going to spend the rest of your working lives paying for all the free stuff in an economy that's barely growing now, but which will certainly contract when Bernie's 97% tax rate kicks in. So good luck finding a job in a market where employers are trying to figure out how few people they have to fire that year just to make ends meet. Now, you may think that we don't have to pay off that debt, that we as a nation can just default and allow 20 or 30,000 billion dollars to just fly away without any consequences. You know, the last time people completely lost confidence in the economy was called the Great Depression. People were eating out of garbage cans and a lot of people got by by growing their own food because a lot of Americans at that time lived on farms. Do you live on a farm? If this debt is not paid off or grown out of, then your problem will not be finding a job with great pay, full benefits, free Uber, and two hours of social media time per day. Your problem will be finding enough rats to roast over a stick over a set of burning tires out in the street. Now, you probably think I'm just making all this gloom and doom up for comic effect. Well, guess what? Bernie Sanders is married and he has a wife named Jane Sanders. And Jane Sanders put Bernie-nomics to work when she took charge of Burlington College, where she ran up some debt. Bernie style. In the middle of May of 2016, Burlington College released a statement which read in part, quote, due to the crushing weight of debt, unquote, quote, which is insurmountable at this time, unquote, Burlington College, quote, will not have met the commission's financial standard and therefore our accreditation will be lifted as of January 2017 and the college will not be able to award academic credit after this time. You see, in 2010, Bernie's wife, Jane Sanders, did the same thing as Bernie wants to do. She took out a big loan, a $10 million loan, in Burlington's name, and they can't pay it back. And now they're going to close. And she left, by the way, with a $200,000 bonus. And those victims of Bernie math are now going to have to go find another college. And if you vote for this, then the same thing's going to happen on a national scale. And we won't be able to pay it back either, and everything will close. And then all of us are going to have to go and find another country just like the people have every other time 
people tried this kind of socialism to force other people to work so that you can get cool stuff for free. We need your help to keep these messages coming. If you want to help us make a difference, please go to BillWhittle.com and become a member.